Hello everyone and welcome. Here is the effect we are making today. Okay, so we are working with two different files from the Action Essentials 2 pack. First one is going to be the muzzle flash, like you see there. And the second one is going to be the shell casing. So let's go into After Effects and bring those two files in. Now if you follow along with the last tutorial where we hit the orange tip, you see that we did that and we tracked it and that is all set. And now what we want to do is add a muzzle flash to this. So let's take our muzzle flash, we're using muzzle flash from number 11 here. And we're going to drag that on top. Let's match it up. Great. So with your muzzle flash selected, you see that it's small. Hit S on the keyboard and then let's scale that up. Remember if, if you hold down shift as you scale up, it moves a lot quicker. Great, we're going to make, make that pretty big. And let's turn that around using this uh, tool here, the rotation tool. We turn that around and hit W on your keyboard if you want to access that rotation tool again. And let me make that a little bigger still. So what we're going to do here, you see the perspective, it works, but it's still off a little bit. The gun is at an angle, while the muzzle flash is more like at a 2D plane. So what you want to do, is you want to enable 3D, and then make your muzzle flash into a 3D object by clicking this down here. And if you don't see that, hit the toggle and switches here. So now it's a 3D object. So what we can do, is we can adjust the Y rotation and match it up with the perspective of where the gun is. And there's no right way to do it, just have to eyeball it. On this particular muzzle flash at the end here, I'm not a big fan of this little bit here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. And we're going to make a mask. Let's uh, make it a little bigger, like that. And then I'm going to take that mask and we're just going to feather it a little bit. Remember if you click on the toggle mask and path shape, you can hide it so you're a little easier to see. We're going to feather that a bit so it blends a little more. Great. That looks better. And let's move that over. There we go. So now the muzzle flash matches the perspective of the gun. But we still have some work to do. What we want to do now is with the muzzle flash selected under, under the mode you want to change the blending mode to add. And remember if you don't see the blending mode and switches it's going to be down here. Toggle that. So now it's on add. Move that a little bit more there. Great. And be sure to put that on top of your solid. Otherwise, it would do that. Great. So now we have the muzzle flash, but there's still one more thing we have to do to blend it into our scene. Because right now, it's just a static light image. So with the muzzle flash selected, go to Layer, New, Solid. And with the eyedropper tool, select some part of the muzzle flash. So I say probably on this outer ring of the initial blast. We'll click on that. Like before, it's going to be a solid color. We want to trim this down to one frame. So on the frame when the muzzle flash is, if you turn it off, that's where we are now. So on top of that, with the solid selected, hit Alt left bracket and Alt right bracket. And then what you want to do is go up here to the tool, rectangle tool, hold it down, and let's do ellipse tool. 
and then pick anywhere on the screen and just draw a shape. Let's say maybe about that. Just kind of click and drag. And right about there. Great. So now we have the pale yellow solid. And under mask, we're going to want to feather this out. So if you select your mask and hold down shift and then click and drag. And you will see that it starts to feather out that color. And what this does is that it creates lighting in the scene to help match it up with the muzzle flash. So if your mask goes off a little bit like that, that's alright. You just want to adjust the adjust it accordingly. I may have to drag it out a little bit. There we go. So now you see for that one frame, it emits this light that casts over the scene. And this is a quick and dirty way to kind of blend your muzzle flash into the scene. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add the shell casing to the gun to make it look like it's coming out. So to make it easy, let's turn off the solid and the muzzle flash. And let's take the shell casing and drag it on top of our comp. Alright. So press H for the hand tool so we can see what we're doing. And then V for your mouse so you can manipulate objects. So what we want to do is animate the shell casing coming out of the gun and onto the floor. How we go about that is one frame before the shell ejects is when we want to start animating it. So this is where it starts and this is when the shell is going to come out. So with our shell casing selected under transform, go to position and set a keyframe. Then hit page down on your keyboard to go up one frame. Then take your shell casing and drag it up. Great. Now hit page down and keyboard to go up a frame. And then adjust it accordingly. And same thing, page down once again. Like so. And just keep doing that frame by frame. Like that. Straighten that out a little bit. Great. But we have a problem here. And as you see, the shell casing is in front of the gun and it ruins the effect. Now, the reason we set the keyframe up before we see it is so that it has a starting point to create the motion blur that we're going to want to use. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So. Go to the second frame after it comes out and then trim the clip where the shell casing is on. So now we keep that motion data, the tracking data that we created frame by frame, but we don't see it until it comes out of the gun. And the final thing we gotta do now for that is to add motion blur to that shell casing. And now we see that there's motion blur to that shell. All right, so let's turn our layers back on. And let's put this under the solid so that it blends with the scene a little better. And then play forward. And there you have it. Now, if you did like this video, be sure to like and subscribe as I will be releasing more videos like this in the future, as well as some of my own independent films. Thanks for watching.